Chelsea Football Club. You lot went to Dortmund yesterday and came yeah. overcame a, a one nil deficit. Okay, yeah. He overcame a one nil deficit and came back and won it two one. Um with uh, Raheem Sterling and Kai Havert scoring for you yeah. guys. But just looking at Chelsea's season in general, how have you felt with all the players that you've bought and how Chelsea's been performing? Oh, it's been stress. It's been hard, bro. It's been hard to watch. It's been heartbreaking. I feel like, as well, <laughs> but you have to bring this up in it. <laughs> but at least we won yesterday. But the season, when you say the season was like spending that much money, obviously you're. You, I think you asked me this question last time I was on, and it was just yeah. like last time we just got rid of um, Roman last time, and Graham yeah. Potter was just um just employed so oh man it's not been it's i don't feel like it's been good i don't i didn't like any the transfers mm. personally i feel like they could have aimed a bit higher with the transfers with the money they could have got a, a world-class striker went for a, a top striker instead of like like instead of buying six or seven mid like mid mid table players boy like three three or two world-class players you know Mm. But um, yeah, we'll see how it how it works out. But I, I'm not I'm not really liking it's heartbreaking for me to to see us get <laughs> smashed up by teams like Southampton and things. Yeah. But um, yeah, I haven't I, I actually honestly haven't been watching. I've been just watching the highlights on like Sky Sports YouTube yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. because it's it's uh, like it ruins my whole day. So you have to you have to protect your energy. You get me? Yeah, <laughs> but no, yeah, no. so actually I actually turned something told me to just turn on Champions League blast. Thing we have to fight for so i turned it on not expecting much and then yeah it was a great performance man i was happy still but me graham potter out <laughs> for me graham, graham potter out <laughs> no, you know, i mean look graham potter it, it looks like your owner wants to wants to wants to give him time i don't know yeah. how much of that is true i, I hear they sampling other people as well so there yeah. will be a chance that you know they they uh they, they bring another manager in. Manchester yeah. United went to Liverpool last week and lost 7 0. Crazy. Like, this league is is a madness. Look how yeah. rubbish Liverpool has been all season, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's bipolar, bro. It's bipolar. <laughs> and of all teams, of all teams, Arsenal has been top of the table for god knows how long like yeah. i don't know what happened with this season i'm i'm enjoying the season by the way I'm, yeah I'm enjoying, yeah i'm fully loving the season right? of course you're loving it bro of course you are man. <laughs> <laughs> i know you're loving it you have to man. <laughs> what, what's it what's it like to see you know, your team play like this after so many years of like Being barely rubbish. even getting into the top four and things yeah yeah i mean it's 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 new it's fresh every every game is like we're not expecting what's gonna happen then it happens and then we're thinking oh shit, we won you yeah know? And, yeah and these all, all the teams that's been beating us home yeah. and away we go to brighton we lose we go to villa we lose we go to palace we lose all mm. this we go to brentford we lose all these teams that's been beating us finally we're beating them home and away so yeah. we're not just beating them at our ground we're going over to their ground and beating them as well a lot of these teams even Newcastle they all did a double on us last season um, but this season is totally different thing yeah. um, different mentality we brought in Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus and they, they've been they've literally transformed the whole team bro. They, 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 they they changed how we look yeah. they changed the way the players are thinking uh, they, they, you know they were asking the players um, you know, what's your aim for, for the season? And the players, they were talking about top four and Europa League. And Zinchenko told them to wash their mouth mm. out that they need to be aiming for the title. That's all. Yeah. Them, so, you know what I mean? It's, and, and just saying that to them, yeah. he said they weren't smiling anymore in the dressing room as soon as Zinchenko said that. And then look where they are now. Uh, you know, they, they, even if we don't win it, mm. I, I, I'm extremely happy with the way that we've approached the Premier League this season, 100%. 100% and like it just shows like I think a lot of the other teams are going to look at um, a lot of the other owners and that are going to look at because you gave Arteta a lot of time and there was a lot of times when I feel like the fans were against them as well so I think the Chelsea board as well 
my um look at look at how you are doing as well with like giving at the time he needed and um it's like <laughs> Us Chelsea fans, we're not used to this, innit? We're not used to giving yeah, the time. No, we're used to, we want to win now, man. We don't care. We don't, we don't need to know about the future. <laughs> we want today's <laughs> Chelsea to win, man. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, when we're you, too impatient, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, when you look at it, yeah, what, what, you, what you said earlier on with Potter out, that's what I was mm. saying last season and the season before. I was saying Ateta out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted yeah. to go on the floor. But he's found a way to turn it around and the owner's good on him to, to give him a chance to do it. And they backed him and, you know, they gave him money. And he's even buying players from the Premier League that's hitting the ground running. You know, mm. uh, people like Trossard and Jorginho. Jorginho, your guy, has won the Champions League, he's won Europa League. He's won it yeah. all. He's won the Premier League effort. Everything to win in, in English football is won that. And now he's brought that mentality to this group of players. And look what they're 100%, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the transfers has been much better as well with yeah. who you're buying as well. I felt like you're buying people at the very, very end who are about to retire, but you got people like at that stage where they have that experience where they can still play and they're yeah. still they still can play to a world class level, but like yeah. they're not they're not washed out yet. You get me? Yeah, 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 and and that's what that's what we need.